Article 12, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $60,000 to assist the Department of Public Works in the development of an asset management program for stormwater and wastewater assets. Set appropriation to be offset by $60,000 in principal loan forgiveness under the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services Clean Water State Revolving Fund and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, contract for, accept, and expend any federal, state, or other available funds toward the project in accordance with the terms and conditions under which they are received and to borrow in anticipation of the receipt of such and or the issuance of such bonds or notes as provided in the Municipal Finance Act and to authorize participation in the State Revolving Fund established for that purpose and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to accept and expend such monies as they become available from the federal and state governments. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 327 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the project is completed over March 31, 2019, whichever occurs. This requires a three-fifths vote, 60 percent passage rate. It's recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee, 12 to 0, and the fiscal impact rate um, is 1.8 cents per thousand evaluation. If loan forgiveness occurs by the time the tax rate is set, then the estimated 2017 tax impa impact would be zero. We have a motion to open Article 12 for so discussion, moved. moved by Mr. Waddell, second by Ms. Barnes. Who would like to speak to Article 12? Ms. Hale. Uh, this article relates to something that we have been working on over the last year, uh, basically from a little longer than that when I started with the department. Uh, we are looking to implement a program to start um, collecting all the assets we have, our drains, our sewers, our pipes, our pump stations, um, all our drainage, our wastewater, our outfalls. Um, the, the purpose of the asset, asset management program is to help us establish what we have, reduce our operating risks, and address what challenges we have to help us with our future planning and programming. Um, in reality, the second bullet there is really what it's all about. Let's stop being reactive, but be proactive so that we can get on a plan. Um, we are very fortunate that uh, the money, uh, the $60,000 has been already appropriated by uh, NHDES to give to the town, uh, as long as this vote is positive. Uh, the money that is loaned to us will be forgiven by them. I think it's very important to note that we have every intention of implementing this immediately uh, and to work with a proprietary company that we've already uh, gone through. We've narrowed it down uh, to work with them. This would allow us to get tablets in the field and start this process uh, ASAP. Uh, so again, this is really uh, an opportunity for us to get the $60,000 as a loan, but for it to be forgiven uh, with an impact of zero dollars. Thank you, Ms. Hale. Mr. Zanoy. Again, I need clarification on this. Uh, Gary Zanoy, 16th Presidential Circle. I know we just got through this Gadsby asset identification issue. It's Phil up there. He's a big Gadsby guy, I guess, with asset management. And so I don't understand, again, uh, Jennifer, precisely what we want to do and what will we have as a product when we're done in terms of a plan. Can you outline that again for me, please? I just don't know what we're doing here. All right. Ms. Hale. So what we are doing is basically collecting, categorizing, assigning, and um, associating our assets. So in this case, this will be used for stormwater and wastewater assets. Um, we have some of the information. Uh, we've all heard about the GIS and GIS layers where we have in town, we know where our manholes and sewer manholes and lines and those type of things are. Um, this will allow us to put it all in one place. It will allow us to uh, work on a, what they call work order system as calls or needs for changes come in, track them, track the costs. Uh, it will allow us to look at all the other assets, so I'm going to switch it over to wastewater for a moment. Um, our pump stations, our parts, our valves, our pipes. Uh, look at it, look at the years that they were purchased, the dollars that it costs, the lifespan that they have, uh, and look towards the when they need to be replaced. Uh, this information will all be in one system. It will allow it to be mapped in a visual form. It will allow it to be printed in report form. So the end product in reality is a database, a database that can be drawn upon uh, to produce financial reports, written reports, visual reports, 
uh, ways to express what we have. It's a communication tool between us and uh, the Selectmen and the Budget Committee, our departments, our staff. Uh, it's a way to track how we get work done and know that it's been completed. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Jones. Thank you very much uh, in, in support of, of, of getting asset management software in the town. During the budget committee deliberations, town manager indicated that we would be using this ultimately to manage all the assets in the town, not just that related to uh, DPW and its sewer, et cetera. Getting a better grasp of uh, accountability on terms of what our town's assets are is uh, a radical improvement, and I very much support that effort. You know, I'm a little curious about the financing, which is still not clear in my head, but you know, with the grant money painted off, I mean, I'm a little bothered that we have to do the loan thing for multiple year because that requires a three-fifths vote, right? Why couldn't we do the loan for six months? And that way we'd go with a majority vote. But that's the one piece that, like, kind of, but I very much want this to happen. Uh, so, especially when the town manager did affirm that he would, in fact, ultimately see all of the town assets getting into this program. And so we'll have much better management capability of our assets. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jacobs? The asset management software is something that um, the state's going to require um, anyone to have if, for them to qualify for a future state revolving loan fund, be it for a water project, a storm drainage project, or a sewer project. Uh, normally these edicts come down, and I'm always concerned that they come down with zero funding. In this particular case, they put their money where their mouth is and they've literally put a grant out there. We're going to spend half of it on the actual software, but actually the other half on the implementation and the tablets and other things. Uh, the other um, government edict that has recently come down is uh, this is the uh, Stormwater Act, all 200 plus pages of it, uh, passed down to the town from the, uh, through the EPA out of the Boston office. The asset software will definitely help us manage us and meet the goals that they require under this uh, would um, relieve the town from, it, if you will, having to add other staff to specifically address this this particular edict from the government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Seeing, um, Bob, just yep. to answer uh, Mr. Jones's question, uh, why this is cast as a loan is because that's the exact nature of the program. If this were a straight-out grant that the selectmen could apply for, accept and expend, uh, you would not see the, uh, the same three-fifths vote required. But this is specifically a loan, and as a result, a three-fifths vote is required. Just as was the case when the library several years ago had some energy improvements and had a loan taken out from a, a fund created through the PUC uh, with Unitil. It, it is a, a loan document that would have to be executed, and a, an authority is needed from the townspeople to do that. And as a result, it's a borrowing, albeit that uh, we expect now, and this was not clear until a few days ago, I guess, that we would indeed receive the 60000 It's a, It's great because there will be no cost, but on a technical level, in order to sign the loan documents, the town authority is needed. Okay. Thank you. Seeing no one else on number 12, we're going to move to uh, Article 13, and, and Article 12 will appear on the ballot as 